first ride here in is 822, the big uh, consumer electronics show going on in Las Vegas. We have lots of conversations going on about that because it's an important day. Jennifer Jolly is checking in live from the floor in Vegas. Jennifer, are you with us this morning? I sure am. I am here. It is the calm before the storm. More than 180,000 people are expected to descend upon the convention center and, and hotels throughout Las Vegas today. 4,500 companies showing off tech that covers the space of more than 55 football fields. So far, you know, I've been here since Saturday. I've seen all the OMG cute robots, uh, some concept flying cars, crazy futuristic everythings that always get a ton of buzz in the early days here. But what's really impressing me is the tech that's getting the upgrades that we need and use the most. Case in point, Samsung's revamped Notebook 9 Pro. It's a two-in-one PC that could very well be the Windows 10 laptop to beat this year. New, upgraded, expensive look and feel, battery life of up to 15 hours with support for fast charging. It is a mid-range price device that is perfect for students, busy professionals, or creatives. Comes out this spring, no price set quite yet. So many more things to tell you about. Should I just keep barreling through? Yes, please. Uh, we want to know what the wildest thing that they have there is. Well, I'm going to tell you about two more things I will actually buy this year, and I'm going to finish with the wild thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> starting with Dolby, uh, I already own these headphones because I'm a reporter and I was able to get my hands on them a little bit early. But you've heard the name Dolby. They long ago set oh, yeah. this this the standard for stellar sound around the globe and they just launched their first ever consumer product it's a pair of high-end Dolby Dimension headphones so when the people who define sound actually create a product like headphones you know they are spectacular uh, they are a true audiophile's dream come true full cinematic sound total control about with how much you hear, what's going on around you. So if you want them to be completely noise canceling, you make a, a little adjustment, you touch the side of one of the headphones, it makes a tiny adjustment, or you can stay really connected to your surroundings. If you wanna hear if a, a child wakes up from a nap or a doorbell rings, otherwise you are immersed in sound that is absolutely spectacular. You can already buy these, they are available now on Amazon for just under $600. Uh, TVs, always a giant story here. Hisense just unveiled an impressive lineup, including the Sonic 1 TV, which is just over an inch wide at its thickest point, and more OMG models. But the one that I'll actually buy this year is the H8F series. That has ultra LED, ULED technology that delivers more eye-popping pixels in that 4K resolution you may have heard about. Plus it intuitively and continually adjusts settings, boosting brightness, color, contrast, and motion. They are due out at a different series of uh, models and sizes, starting at 50 inch, going all the way up to 65 inch, due out in May of 2010, in a price range starting at 400 on up. And then you said, what's the craziest thing I've seen so far? It's, it's actually standing, and I'm doing air quotes. Wish you could see that air quotes. Standing right next to me right now. It's the Lavat robot. It's like spelled like robot, but with love in it because it's kind of the anti-robot. It doesn't dominate a daily task with superhuman strength or skills. It's not even really created to be helpful. What it is, is a fluffy fabric covered mechanical companion with the smarts of a toddler and the charm to match. It is pretty spectacular. It's my favorite robot. I've seen more robots this year than ever before. This is my favorite. I'm totally in love. Sadly though, this little guy won't be available in America until 2020 and at a price point of around $3,000, I might just have to, yeah, I might just oh have to my. buy five of these Samsung laptops instead. <laughs> well, you know, Joe, that robot sounds like a little bit of old school, like giving you a hug with some new technology mixed in at the same time. Well, this one, the Lavat robot can recognize and understand up to 1,000 different voices and people, and it's easy, it also has the, the smarts of seven PCs packed inside. So it's kind of a mechanical pet that could very easily become a favorite in the family. I mean, make, in my family, it might even replace me as the favorite child. 
and Jennifer Jolly live from CES in Las Vegas. Uh, Jen, is it true that there is a treadmill there that powers your home while you work out? Yes, there is. There is a treadmill that powers your home when you work out. I haven't actually seen it myself yet. I'm going to go take a peek today and then uh, I'll be able to talk about it more tomorrow. I'm actually going to go. I'm not just going to take a peek. I'm training for my first ultra marathon. So I'm actually going to take it for a run and see if I can not only knock out some training here on the showroom floor, but also generate some energy. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year the power actually went out here. So that's, yeah. you know, maybe something we could rely on if you know, just in case we have that happen this year, we can get a bunch of reporters out running. 1,800 of us around here. Somebody's got to be able to generate some energy. You, you, you could generate some positive non-fake news that way, and you could perhaps keep the government running. <laughs> hey, miracles could happen. You never know. <laughs> Jennifer Jolly, live from CES in Las Vegas. Other things that you have seen that have really caught your eye that made you say, whoa, well, yesterday, you know, we featured the first ever prototype smart home where 400 different connected gadgets were living in harmony under one roof. Uh, that's that was the Builder KB Home project. That was really amazing. And, and as I kind of walk around and continue, I keep thinking back to that and you know those jetson like homes of the future also yesterday hyundai unveiled a concept car with legs they're calling it elevate and the whole purpose behind this car is to help rescuers uh, get in to reach people where they otherwise might not be able to so the the car has jointed legs so it can hop skip jump trek and uh, get into you know think rubble think maybe mars <laughs> That that wow. that was pretty amazing too. It, it, it sounds like the, the stormtroopers are coming. <laughs> it was it was kind of looked like that. So between that and all the various robots, and we saw a bread making robot. Uh, that was pretty cool. So yeah, there's a lot of kind of weird and wacky. You know, the other couple things I wrote about in my USA Today column, there are a pair of pantyhose called sheer techs that really you can't rip them, you can't tear them, you can't run, and, and I tried. You know, short of bringing out garden shears, I tried every which way to rip these suckers, and I couldn't, and, I, and people said, you know, how is that high tech? If you've ever worn nylons, you will understand. <laughs> that but are have, they attractive or are they industrial looking? No, they're completely attractive. They, they're light, they're thin, they're made with a, an insanely strong polymer that includes the same kind of fibers and fabric. Jennifer Jolly, go live from CES in Las Vegas. That is absolutely wild. <laughs>